Namaste friends, welcome back to Yoga Candy. My name is Candice and today we have yoga for the pelvic floor. Now this is a really important area of the body for men and women, so guys join in too. Um, ladies, if you've been doing your Kegel exercises, then you'll understand the feeling of what's going on when you're lifting up through the pelvic floor. If you haven't, the only way I can explain it is imagine you really need to go to the toilet and you squeezing everything in, trying to hold it in rather than releasing. So that's the kind of sensation. It's not a really tough um, like bicep squeeze. You're not gonna feel very much. It's almost a very gentle fluttering. That's kind of the easiest way to explain it, is it's a very gentle squeeze. Um, and the, the more you practice pelvic floor exercises, the longer you're gonna be able to hold that squeeze. Um, at first, it may just be for a few seconds and you'll, you'll probably notice it naturally relaxes itself and you have to really consciously squeeze it back in again. So at the same time as engaging our pelvic floor, we'll actually be engaging our um, Mula Bandha. So lifting up through the root lock, um, sucking the belly up and in. So you're imagining that you're trying to draw all of the muscles up into underneath the rib cage. That's just sort of a visualization technique that you can use while you practice this, um, this way of lifting up through the pelvic floor and through the, the stomach. So find a comfortable seat of your choice. You don't need any props today. It's going to be very simple. We're going to be doing poses that help us with our pelvic floor and help us to really try to concentrate and engage on that particular muscle. So find any comfortable seat of your choice. If you are seated on your mat, then um, maybe you want to prop your hips up. Perhaps a, a cross-legged position just isn't very accessible to you. So that's okay, just find any seat that works. Even if you want to start off on your sofa and then send it over to the mat for the exercises, that's fine too. So when you're ready, <clears throat> we're going to sit up nice and tall through the spine. We're going to already start to engage the core, so the core's already sucked in. Close the eyes and roll the shoulders back and down the spine. So we're going to start with some conscious breathing and it's just starting to listen to that pelvic floor and feeling the sensations that you should feel. Try to make sure that your pelvis is, is um, actually against the floor or against the cushion that you're seated on so that you can feel that little lift, that gentle movement and contraction. Start off with just some natural breaths to begin before we even start to engage. Just tuning into the body, becoming peaceful and starting to allow our whole body and our breath to um, unite. When you're ready, we're going to start to take deep inhales and deep exhales in and out of the nostrils. Just sending those inhales all the way into the belly. You can even take your hands to the belly and we're going to feel that belly ever so slightly expand on the inhales so you're not just filling the rib cage, you're also filling the belly. Then on your exhales, you're going to start to contract the belly, lifting up as if you're imagining you're lifting up through the pelvic floor and even all the muscles of the stomach up into the rib cage. So as you exhale, you're going to feel that pelvic floor contraction. It's a very gentle sensation, but you will feel it, especially with practice. So let's begin the inhales and exhales. You can always take a hand to the belly. Inhale for the count of three. Nice, long and deep. Exhale for four, lifting up through the pelvic floor. Inhale, three, one, two, three. Exhale for four. One, two, three, four. Continue the cycle of breath. We're gonna do this for a round of five. So close your eyes and just count at your own pace and just concentrate on lifting up through the pelvic floor and through the tummy on every exhale releasing on every inhale.
Take one more for good measure. If you're in a cross-legged position, we're gonna move our legs um, and just put the opposite leg on top. We're gonna do one more breathing technique before we begin in some postures. Let's sit up tall once again. We're gonna do fire breath. So this is great for warming up the body and also it's a really great way to tune into our pelvic floor. So on an inhale, we're gonna take, take a nice deep inhale. You can watch me the first time. You may feel silly, but don't worry. You're gonna inhale, filling the belly. On every exhale, you're gonna do sharp exhales out of the nostrils um, without taking an actual inhale between each little burst of exhale. So you can watch me on the first one. It's an inhale, exhale. So take five little deep pumps with the belly so you'll actually feel your belly pumping. moving up and in. So when you do that, you're actually gonna lift up through the pelvic floor at the same time on all those little exhales. So let's give it a go. Inhaling, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, pump for five. Inhale, exhale, pump for five. One more, inhale, exhale, do the five pumps. If you didn't manage that on this round, don't worry, we're gonna end the class in the same way. So don't worry, you've got another chance and another shot at it. So let's come into our first posture um, with a butterfly pose bringing the heels as close towards the crutch as possible. If you're not very flexible in the hips, your legs will be very raised and you can always send this to a wall, take your back against a wall, maybe hold onto the feet and try to pull yourself forward. Now from here, we're gonna to start to lean forward if you've got the flexibility, just taking your hands out in front of you. Allow the legs to hang heavy and because you're in this position, it's easier to feel the pelvic floor still. All of these hip openers make it a little easier. So again, we're gonna take our deep breaths and we're gonna lift up through the pelvic floor on every exhale. Really force those exhales nice and long. Take one more inhale. Exhale, lift through the pelvic floor. Feel that squeeze, hold it for a second. And inhale, release. Send your arms back up if you came forward. Draw your knees together, give them a little hug in towards the body. I'm just gonna turn to the side and we're gonna very slowly roll our backs all the way down to the ground. So keep your feet hip distance apart and we're gonna very slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, come on down. We're gonna do bridge pose. So bring your feet close towards your bum. Make sure that you can kind of touch the, the heels with your fingertips, then you're in the right position. Keep your feet hip distance apart throughout this, this pose and try to keep your knees in line with the hips as well. Don't allow them to splay open once we come up into the pose. So from here, we're gonna inhale and we're gonna lift our hips up towards the sky. You can always take the shoulder blades underneath the body a little more and interlace the hands behind the spine. Once we're in bridge, suck up through the pelvis and through the lower belly. For all the exhales and the inhales, we're just gonna lift it up. You can feel the contraction. While we're squeezing the legs together, it makes the pelvic floor engagement a little easier. Let's see if we can hold that engagement for three deep breaths. So lift up through the pelvic floor, feel that squeeze, 
Let's take three deep breaths. Keep your neck still in this position. Release the interlace of the fingers and slowly, as you can, we're going to lower all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae. And then draw the knees towards the armpits, pull them in nice and deeply towards the armpits. <sighs> Take an exhale out the mouth. We're going to do that a couple more times. Back into our position for bridge, inhaling the hips to the sky, interlace the hands behind the spine if you want to, engage those legs, suck up through the pelvic floor, three deep breaths. Don't worry if you lose it, just suck it back in. Release the hands, roll down to the spine very, very, very slowly. One more time, you can exhale out the mouth if needed. Release everything. Now let's inhale once again back to bridge, lifting up the hips, sucking up through the pelvic floor, squeezing the knees towards each other. Let's take three deep breaths. Exhale, release all the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae, down towards the ground. Now hug the knees back in towards the armpits. You can always take it into a happy baby, gripping the outsides of the feet or maybe of the shins if you can't. In our happy baby, you can always rock from side to side if you want to, or even where you're hugging the knees into the armpits, you can rock a little if you prefer. Otherwise, become still, and either way, we're gonna start breathing here in this position. So now that your pelvic bowl is tilted back and a little up, you should be able to feel it even more. So close your eyes wherever you are. Let's take three deep breaths on every exhale, sucking up through the pelvic floor and engaging the belly. Every inhale you're releasing. Just for good measure, take a couple more deep breaths. and release the legs down to the sides of the body. Once again, maybe take the, the feet as wide as the mat, knees drawn together. Take your hands to the belly. Three deep inhales and exhales here, just to relax it once again. On your exhales, lift up through the pelvic floor. One more deep breath. Now send yourself back up into a seat, keeping the knees together. 
We're going to come in for Hero Pose and feel free to prop the hips up if it's just not accessible. So we're going to make sure the knees are together and the, the feet are as wide as the mat or wider than hip distance apart so that you can sit back between those ankles. This is where you may need a prop just to prop your hips up. If you don't need them, then just stay in a seated, um, a seated hero pose, hands on the knees or, or on the shins or the thighs, wherever feels comfortable. And from here, we're gonna do our pelvic floor work once again. So close the eyes and our three deep breaths. Exhaling, lifting up through the pelvic floor. Inhaling, releasing. Once you've done your last breath, let's release the legs, send them out long in front of us. You can keep your legs nice and straight or bend them as much as needed and maybe even just using your hands behind you to prop your hips forward, sorry, your chest forward. If you can start to walk forward, maybe just gripping onto the shins, maybe you can reach the feet. We're just gonna do a little hamstring stretch before we end with our final breathing of another round of fire breath. So just feel through the hamstrings, do any movements that feel right. You might wanna bend forward and come on up, just trying to keep your spine nice and long. That's the main thing. You can bend the knees as much as needed, but the spine should be long. And release, find another comfortable seat, any seat of your choice. And let's do our fire breath. We're gonna do another round of five, just in case you didn't get it the first time round. Maybe this time it's gonna be a little easier. So sit up tall through the spine. On every inhale, you're filling the belly. On every exhale, you're doing little pumps with the belly to get that air out of you, okay? And on those pumps, we're gonna be lifting up through the pelvic floor and through our abdomen as well. So, you can always watch me once again. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, five pumps. And you'll feel on those pumps, you'll actually feel your pelvic floor sort of lifting up every time you do a, a burst of, of releasing the air. So let's do our five together. Do it in your own time. You can always follow along with me, but do it in your own time and at your own pace. So inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Great job, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed today's class. I hope it's helped you connect with your pelvic floor because yoga is all about connecting mind, body, and spirit. So let's hope we're getting closer towards that beautiful path of unity. Until next time, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know how you got on. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask me in the comments and don't forget to share. So until next time everyone, namaste.